a structure so immense, so complicated, it is set to cost nearly 4 billion Australian dollars, and it must rise from a massive rocky hill right in the heart of a bustling city. This is the unbelievable challenge facing engineers in Brisbane, Australia, a new 63,000-seat stadium. A colossal building larger than Perth's Optus Stadium is planned for Victoria Park. This is not just any sports arena, it is destined to be the main stage for the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games, hosting the opening and closing ceremonies and all the athletics events. This huge project is part of an even larger 7.1 billion Australian dollar plan for all the game's venues. But how do engineers even begin to tackle a project of this magnitude? For over a century, the Gabba Stadium has stood as a beloved landmark in Brisbane, witnessing countless cricket matches and Australian rules football games, holding a special place in the hearts of many. However, like all grand structures, time began to take its toll. The Gabba, with a maximum capacity of around 37,000 for football and 33,000 for cricket, started showing significant signs of age. Engineers discovered serious issues within its very bones. Parts of its roof failed in 2008 and rust was found degrading its steel structure. The cooling and ventilation systems were breaking down and the lifts were so old they required major upgrades just to meet basic fire safety rules. Even fundamental aspects like ambulance access to the playing field were problematic, and the stadium lacked proper changing rooms and toilets for female athletes, a stark contrast to modern standards. Attempts to fix these issues would have cost an estimated one billion Australian dollars, yet this investment would not have increased the stadium's size or significantly improved the fan experience. It was deemed a temporary fix, a band-aid solution that would not deliver a truly international standard venue. So, when Brisbane won the bid to host the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games, the need for a new, world-class main stadium became undeniable. And on March 25, 2025, Premier Chris Afuli announced that the Gabba would be demolished after the Games and a new 63,000-seat stadium would be constructed at Victoria Park. Victoria Park was chosen for its inner-city location, offering impressive city views and the potential to be integrated into a larger games precinct that would include other venues and the Olympic Village nearby. Selecting this site brings its own set of immense engineering puzzles, demanding cutting-edge solutions and meticulous planning. Victoria Park is far from a flat expanse. Its terrain features significant changes in height, with some areas dropping or rising by as much as 35 meters. To visualize this height difference, imagine stacking about 10 double-decker buses on top of each other. That is the kind of elevation variation engineers are contending with across the site. Constructing a huge level stadium on such uneven land requires extensive earth moving. Beneath Victoria Park lies a very old, incredibly hard rock known as Brisbane Tuff. This rock, formed from volcanic ash over 226 million years ago, is remarkably strong, with a hardness ranging from 100 to 150 megapascals. This tough geological formation means that digging out the stadium's foundations will be a monumental task. Hostages due to the presence of Brisbane Tuff engineers will likely need to employ controlled blasting techniques to break up the rock. This is an extremely precise operation, especially considering Victoria Park is surrounded by major institutions, including the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital, which alone employs over 13,000 staff and treats more than 1 million patients each year. Blasting too close could generate vibrations that disrupt sensitive medical equipment and compromise patient care. Engineers must plan every blast with extreme care to minimize noise and shaking, ensuring the safety and well-being of everyone in the vicinity. To create the necessary flat platform for the stadium, engineers will have to make enormous cuts into the existing land. This will require the construction of retaining walls up to 20 meters high. A 20-meter wall 
is taller than a six-story building. These walls act as giant concrete or stone barriers designed to hold back tons of earth, preventing landslides and ensuring the ground remains stable for the massive structure above. To support the immense weight of a 63,000-seat stadium, engineers cannot simply build on the surface. They require deep foundations. These are like giant concrete or steel stilts, often called piles or drilled shafts, that extend far into the ground until they reach very strong rock or stable soil layers. These deep foundations are crucial for transferring the stadium's enormous weight safely and securely to the earth below, preventing the building from sinking or shifting over time. Uneven before any major construction begins, engineers conduct detailed geotechnical studies. This involves drilling deep boreholes into the ground and collecting samples of soil and rock. These samples are then rigorously tested in laboratories to understand the ground's strength, how water moves through it, and whether there are any hidden risks such as soft spots or underground water sources. Brisbane's climate, known for its significant rainfall, makes effective stormwater management a critical aspect of the stadium's design. Engineers will implement sophisticated systems to handle massive amounts of rainwater runoff from the stadium's vast roof and surrounding paved areas. This could involve using large underground tanks to collect and store water, installing special permeable surfaces that allow water to slowly soak into the ground, or incorporating biofiltration systems that naturally clean the water before it enters the city's drainage network. These solutions are essential for preventing localized flooding and protecting the quality of local waterways. The stadium's main structure will consist of a robust framework of steel and concrete. Engineers utilize advanced computer models to simulate how the building will react to various forces. This includes strong winds, which are a common occurrence in Queensland, and the dynamic vibrations generated by tens of thousands of cheering fans jumping and stomping simultaneously. The design ensures that the stadium can absorb these movements without any structural failure, maintaining safety for everyone inside. Modern stadium construction also leverages lightweight prefabricated components and modular designs, which can significantly accelerate the construction timeline and allow for easier modifications or upgrades in the future. The stadium's roof will provide essential shade and shelter for spectators. While specific details for the Victoria Park Stadium's roof are still being finalised, contemporary stadium designs often incorporate advanced materials such as ETFE foil or PTFE coated fibreglass. ETFE, a lightweight and highly transparent material, allows up to 92% of natural light to pass through, which is beneficial for maintaining healthy grass on the playing field. These materials are also exceptionally durable, boasting lifespans of 35 to 40 years or more, and are selected for their low weight, high tensile strength, and ability to withstand strong winds. Constructing a stadium of this scale demands a vast amount of space, not only for the building itself, but also for temporary construction areas. These lay-down yards and hall roads can occupy an area almost three times the size of the stadium's actual perimeter. This means a significant portion of the parkland will be temporarily, and in some cases permanently, consumed during the construction phase. For games mode, the stadium must not only seat 63,000 people, but also provide large, flat, shaded areas outside for an additional 63,000 people to queue safely. Furthermore, an extra 10,000 square meters, roughly the size of two more football fields, will be needed for food, beverage, and entertainment facilities to help manage crowd dispersal and prevent overwhelming the transport network. While initial estimates suggested the stadium itself would only use 12% to 13% of the 64-hectare Victoria Park, some experts contend that with all the necessary associated infrastructure, more than half, potentially up to 58%, of the park could be converted into hard surfaces and buildings. This raises significant concerns for groups advocating for the preservation of Brisbane's green spaces, who argue that the project implies a stadium or park choice 
rather than a harmonious stadium and park coexistence. These engineering challenges are immense, demanding cutting-edge solutions and careful planning. But what about the bigger picture? How much will all of this cost? And what are the other big discussions happening around this massive project? The new Brisbane Stadium is projected to cost approximately 3.8 billion Australian dollars. This substantial sum is part of a larger 7.1 billion Australian dollars budget allocated for all the new and upgraded venues for the 2032 Games. The Australian Federal Government is making the largest contribution any Australian government has ever made to sporting infrastructure, committing 3.4 billion Australian dollars towards the Games venues. Both the Federal and Queensland State Governments are working in partnership to fund this monumental project. The new stadium is expected to be completed and operational by 2031 or 2032, ensuring it is ready just in time for the Olympics. Early investigative work, including geotechnical studies and soil sampling, has already commenced at the site. The aim is for major construction to begin by the end of 2026, a crucial element of the transport strategy. The upgraded exhibition station is anticipated to be fully operational by 2029 as part of the Cross River Rail project, which will significantly improve access to the stadium. Despite the grand vision and significant investment, not everyone supports the plan for Victoria Park. Victoria Park is a heritage-listed site and one of Brisbane's last large inner-city green spaces, often referred to as Brisbane's Central Park. Advocacy groups such as Save Victoria Park express deep concern that building a stadium here will lead to an irreplaceable loss of green space, which is vital for the city's air quality, urban cooling, and biodiversity. They highlight that Brisbane already has the least inner city green space per person compared to other Australian capital cities. The park's surroundings are home to major institutions, including Queensland's largest hospital, the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital, along with several schools and universities. Critics warn that adding stadium-related traffic to an area already known for significant congestion will create chaos for commuters and emergency services, potentially jeopardizing patient care. Furthermore, compared to existing stadiums like the Gabba or Suncorp, the proposed Victoria Park site is not as well served by public transport. The walk from the nearest train station, exhibition station, is twice as long and involves hilly terrain, making it challenging for older individuals or those with mobility issues. Victoria Park also holds profound cultural importance for the Turrbal people, the First Nations people of the area. Historically, it served as a traditional camping ground, a place for gathering food and hosted significant cultural dances known as corroborees. Constructing a stadium in this location raises serious concerns about respecting and preserving this vital cultural heritage. The trade-off between the economic benefits and the environmental and social impacts is a central point of contention. While the stadium is presented as a legacy asset, the criticisms regarding its location's practical challenges, such as traffic and transport, raise questions about its long-term integration and potential to become underutilized after the Games, similar to the white elephant problem seen with some past Olympic venues. So, as the bulldozers prepare to break ground, the new Brisbane Stadium stands as a symbol of both incredible engineering ambition and a complex debate about urban development and preservation. What do you think about this massive project? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If this journey into the engineering of the new Brisbane Stadium fascinated you, hit that like button, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more deep dives into incredible builds, and turn on notifications so you do not miss our next video.